Hello and welcome to The Union Show. I'm Phil Cleary. A fiery rally by the police union, a piece of art unveiled down at Docklands to commemorate the MUA's victory over Patrick Steve Oring 10 years ago, and a special vox pop with a former politician, and of course, all the union news with Casey Dickey. It's been a big week for the community and for the union movement. And what better place to start than with that passionate police rally in the heart of our city, right there in Melbourne. As members uh, will be aware, the number one reason for us all being here today relates to the issue of police numbers uh, and the refusal of uh, the Brumby government and the leadership of the Victoria Police Force to address that very serious issue uh, that uh, exists throughout Victoria at the current time that's affecting not just our members but the community safety of all Victorians. Uh, in response uh, to that dire situation, the Police Association intends to launch its Save Our Streets uh, campaign later this month. Um, and uh, the Save Our Streets campaign will run simultaneously with whatever might come out of this meeting to send a very clear message to the Victorian Government and the Victoria Police Force that our members have had enough with regard to uh, police numbers uh, and the community has had enough with regard to their safety being compromised by a refusal by the Government and the force to address what is a very serious issue for all of us. The motion is that this rally calls on the Chief Current Commissioner of Police to resign immediately, given her lack of leadership. The Commissioner to resign immediately, given her lack of leadership in resolving key issues affecting the policing profession in Victoria. Dennis, a uh, family person with your wife, obviously. Um, pretty fiery meeting there, a lot of calls for the minister to be sacked. What's your spin on that? Well, it's, uh, it's got to the point where it's unfortunate that it's got to that point. Uh, the minister hasn't uh, taken heed or addressed any issues whatsoever, as far as I'm concerned. And the Chief Commission tends to be uh, in the pocket of the minister. So it's got to the point where our rights have basically diminished and we have to go down this track. Is it that hard on the beat? I don't know whether you're on the beat, but is it that hard? We're hearing all the stories about not enough numbers. How bad is it? Well, it is bad. We, um, like I work in a, a smaller country community, but even our roster is down, down and we, we get a lot of sick leave nowadays. Um, people are stressed on the job. Really? Yeah. So it is, it is, uh, it is tight. It is tight the front line. Right. And the stress has come from being under me. What's it like being a policeman's wife? Extremely stressful. Really? Yes. You don't know who's going to make an allegation, who's going to come at it. You don't know if they're going to come home at night. If they're late home, you're worrying. Seriously? Yes. Thank you and very much. And they're tired and stressed. All right. Well, I suppose you've got to try to fix that up. Yes. Thanks for your time. Bad boys, bad boys. Oh, what you going to do? Oh, what you going to do when they come for you? Well, some pretty strong uh, thoughts being expressed there. What's been decided to Absolutely, it's uh, self-explanatory. Uh, police officers uh, have had enough. A number of motions were uh, unanimously uh, carried. Uh, the members want us, as a police association, to can campaign on resourcing into the next state election. Uh, they want us to call on government to uh, have a uh, Royal Commission or full public inquiry uh, implemented into a range of issues that uh, have uh, significantly dissatisfied them, as well as calling on the resignations today of the Chief Commissioner and the Minister for Police and Emergency Services. They've just had enough of these uh, two individuals who just sit on their hands continually. The meeting has also called on uh, Premier Brumby. If uh, they don't resign, then uh, he uh, uh, dismisses them uh, uh, by later later this month. We also want to meet with the uh, Premier in an, in an attempt to uh, uh, resolve our issues and quite obviously, and it's historical today, the members uh, unanimously voted in favour of a uh, march on Parliament House. Well, 
time to talk to the president, Brian Ricks. A, a lot of passion here today, Brian, at the meeting at Rod Laver and here. Um, unusual? Unusually so? Uh, look, this has been a build-up, Bill. It really has been a build-up of uh, passion from our members right across the country. And we've travelled, in the last week I've travelled from one corner of the state to the other. And let me tell you, you've only seen probably 25% of the members that uh, are passionate about this issue. It's not just about Christine Nixon, uh, the person, it's about her policies. It's about her draconian policies about stopping police officers being able to get onto the street and support their communities and go out and attend the domestics, the heavy domestics, yes. and do all those things that are necessary, which are the core functions of police officers. Well, you go down to Werribee, to Wyndham, uh, where they're crying out for extra police resources. There's a population explosion out there, yes. and uh, the, 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 the few members that are left are being asked to do too much and they break down. We have very keen and very, very, very good young people coming into this job, yes, but uh, they're getting worn down by over uh, overuse. The Minister claims there are more police out there than ever before, more police in the stations. What, is this not true? What Christine does is she will sit at uh, her computer and go down and uh, press a button and the uh, Human Resources computer will tell her that uh, police officers are in operational general duties positions. That's all very well and good. You go and look at the rosters, which we did on the 12th of March this year, and uh, you find that there's gaps on those rosters where people have been seconded away to little projects here and there, away from frontline policing, or they're on long-term leaves, leave of absence, which she authorises. There's no authorised strength. Mm. So you might have, uh, for example, Baronia, they're actually cutting back on the number of divvy vans that actually patrol that area. Um, from Knox, Baronia, Lilydale, there's normally three divvy vans every night of the week. That's been cut back to two. Paul Mull at the end of a long session, yeah. in the sun, how are you feeling personally? Look, uh, uh, myself personally, and it's confirmed today, uh, we're very proud in the uh, policing uh, profession. And we actually want to set it in the, uh, the right direction. Uh, we have uh, a leadership, regrettably, that are taking the policing down the wrong track. I was talking to Brian Ricks, your president. He, he says that there is a genuine problem within the ranks of stress and sick leave. Is this really true, or is this the kind of spin that you claim comes out of police headquarters? No, it's, uh, it's spot on. And, um, What's compounding is Sam members are working in an under-resourced environment, so if you're working the divisional band shift in, shift out, the compounding effect is that ultimately uh, you will uh, go off sick and uh, there are uh, there is evidence, direct evidence on rosters right throughout the state that sickness and uh, long-term work cover is a real problem. You've called on the Premier to sack the Chief Commissioner. Never been done before, never been called on before to do such a thing. Uh, is that going to be a problem for you? You're going to look silly if he doesn't do it. Well, it's uh, it's in his uh, court. Uh, if he really wants to uh, listen to the voice of policing in this state, he's got to start listening to members out on the ground and the collective voice of the membership, and that's uh, the police association. Has the meeting today given you a bit of renewed spirit in difficult times? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, we were at the crossroads uh, today, but uh, uh, thankfully, uh, because of the enormous uh, turnout by our broader membership, who in fact were, uh, some of them, uh, intimidated uh, uh, from attending today, it gives us a renewed heart that we can take the profession in the right direction. Seems like there's still plenty of fight in the old ticker. How are you travelling? No worries at all, uh, and uh, when you've got a clear uh, conscious uh, uh, fill, uh, as uh, we said earlier, combined with a sense of humour, uh, you can survive anything. Good on you, have a restful day. Good on you, Phil. <laughs> Sack the uh, Commissioner of Police. Well, that is a big call by the police union. You'll have to watch this spot. After the break, however, we go dockside for a bit of Picasso, you might say. A bit of art. It's special. <laughs> 